Whoa, 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 hold on. Let's run it back. Hey, Sorry to interrupt, but if you came for the trailer, you should probably jump to here. But otherwise, stay and watch me explain how this came to be. This will sound a little crazy, so just imagine for a second. You're about to practice and want to spend some time warming up, but you're stuck on deciding what to do. Do you play three scales? Practice tunis? No. You whip out the Sev chick instead, and as you're warming up, you come across this one passage that really inspires you. You think to yourself, wow, I hear a really cool chord progression over this, and mark it down to explore later. Now, instead of acting upon it, you put the thought away and forget about it for a few months. But wait! A few months later, you're about to practice and want to spend some time warming up, but you're stuck deciding on what to practice. Do you play scales? Practice tunis? No, you whip out the Steph chick instead, and as you're warming up, you come across this one passage that you marked up a few months ago and ask yourself, what was this about? You finally remember that you were inspired by it and wanted to make something with it and try really hard to figure out what you were thinking a few months ago because now you're like, wow, this is such a stupid idea, what was I thinking? You go through with it and end up making cinematic trailer music out of a Steph chick thing too. Do any of you guys feel like that? Is it just me? No? No? Oh, okay. Alright, enough of that. Let me explain. So here's the exercise I was inspired by. It's really boring. <laughs> I rearranged it a little bit to make it sound a little more harmonically coherent. Even though I use the entire exercise, the main theme of this work is structured around the first four notes. This four note theme is scattered around just so that there's something the listener can latch onto. When I started this project, I couldn't remember what chord progression I was thinking of a few months ago, so I started with a bass line instead. From there, I started adding in some ostinato patterns to start adding some harmony. And I added some low strings with that exact same bass line. Because this was themed around septic and technical exercises, I was thinking to myself, what other sort of technical things could I add to this? So I put in some really fast piano arpeggios. To me, this was already a pretty good start, but I felt like I was missing something. It wasn't epic enough, and it wasn't exhilarating enough for me. So I finally came up with a chord progression and used the vocal sample library to have a choir sing it. Since that wasn't epic enough, I decided to throw in a brass ensemble too to play the same progression. <laughs> At this point, the arrangement was really heavy for my taste. So I came up with a counter melody to be played by a celeste and handbells. I felt like I needed the theme to stand out more, so I recorded myself playing this passage. And I also recorded it an octave up. No cinematic trailer is complete without heavy percussion.
because it's subject and it's violin related, at the end there's this siren thing that sort of imitates somebody tuning their A string. Without any of the processing, it's just a string section playing an A. Just added some heavy distortion and reverb and it, it, it sounds like a siren. I didn't have any visuals to score this to, so I couldn't help but take matters into my own hands and making my own trailer for my own music. Alright, I've talked too much. Enjoy the trailer. Let's take it from the top. I thought I could do it all. Nothing has ever stopped me before. I would take down any and every challenge set before me. I fear none. But this? This is on a whole nother level. And on that fateful day, I would meet my match. You'll never be a great violinist. Whoa, that's really insensitive. What? You really had to cut off my monologue like that? I was on a roll. <sighs> Just saying. Just play it again and do it right this time. Ugh. You know, that wasn't too bad. You had faith in me this whole time, didn't you? It's just an etude. Bring me the next one next week. Wait. There's more?